If they ain't got it, I'ma mask up and take it. 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 What is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks and in today's video we are doing a Buckethead Mask unboxing as well as showing off a few other oddball Buckethead Masks that I already own. I already had these ones but I kind of wanted to do uh, an unboxing in the video anyways uh, because I felt like those two by themselves are just kind of boring and at least an unboxing will give me a chance to unbox which is what we do on this channel. So we'll go ahead and take care of the one that's in the package and then I will go ahead and talk about the other two that we have here. So let's get on into it. If there's any Buckethead collectors out there that are into the oddball masks the way that me or Douglas or the Mask Hunter are, this is a super super easy one to find because it was made so frequently like there are so many of them out there and basically it's just a classic classic old hooded Grim Reaper mask. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know that this was tagged when I bought it. But as you can see, what we have here is an old Fun World skull mask, and this has the hood attached, and this is a vinyl mask, so it's not gonna rot. And uh, I've never seen Buckethead wear this mask, but there is a photo of him in a studio playing the guitar wearing that witch mask, and on the floor you can see a stack of masks that he had brought with him and just kind of dumped out on the floor. I'm guessing that's where he got the witch mask from, but this is clearly on top, and the only way that I can tell is by comparing which teeth are missing, the weird little sockets here, and the nose itself, but they all seem to match up perfect and that is what I believe this mask to be. If there's another one out there that's closer it'll blow my fucking mind. So I just uh, decided to look on eBay and I found this for like $12 and I figured fuck it it'll make a nice little addition and uh, it'll look nice with the rest of the oddballs. The two other masks I told you about the first one being this vinyl white mask, which you guys have probably seen on my channel before, either in the background or maybe you saw the actual video of this mask coming in the mail and me unboxing it and telling the story about this mask and why I got it. Now when I got it, I had no idea that Buckethead actually used this for anything. And once again, I don't believe that this is one that he's worn, but if you look on the back of the Inbred Mountain album artwork, you will see this mask on a little display. It's uh, I think on a black foam head with some fake eyes on the inside and like a little KFC surface serving dish, like a bowl or a cup or something as the bucket. And uh, it's just kind of neat, Mike Covert pointed it out to me that it was the same exact mask that I already had, so instead of just hanging it in my bedroom, I am also going to add this to the Buckethead Oddball Mask Collection. So the cool thing about the Inbred Mountain album is that it actually is released on vinyl, so if you want a nice up close look at this, you can buy that and it's right there on the back. And it's just cool that I uh, already had this mask, I have a story about it from my childhood and I was able to get another one in my collection. Turns out that it is a Buckethead mask, so I'm very glad to add that to the Set. And last but not least, we've got a 1983 female Caesar. This is an original, this is not a recast. It's actually not in the greatest shape. There's some scuffs on it, just from old age, but I got a handful of these back in the day. I think they came with like a lot of masks and uh, there was like four or five of these. So I've had them laying around and uh, it wasn't until recently when Douglas Little pointed out the Buckethead is actually wearing this in a photo with Maximum Bob that I decided to grab one out of the box and stick it in my collection, but here we have this one. I went ahead and misted it a little bit with white just to kind of get rid of some of those scuffs. I'll probably have to go over it again just to really seal the deal and make it look nice and new, but I figured on their own this wouldn't really be a super fun video and uh, just be kind of boring because each mask is pretty basic and he never even really wore any of these that we know of. I mean, aside from this one, but it's just for a photo. So I figured if I got three or four of them together, I could just make a video by themselves and I do plan to do this in the future with little oddballs that weren't significant. Clearly if it's one that I've been after for a while or one that there's like significant photos or footage of him wearing, I will do a video on it by itself. But I just figured when this came, I'd go ahead and get these two out and talk a little bit about them and give you guys a nice little explanation as to why they are in the Buckethead oddball set. So yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and until next time, we'll see you later.